What is the difference between falcons and hawks? Birds of prey are some of the most successful predators on the planet. Thanks to their sheer killing efficiency, incredible diversity, and adaptability, and few birds of prey exemplify these traits better than falcons and hawks, which are some of the most prolific killers in the skies. But what makes a bird a falcon? And what makes it a hawk? Is there even a difference? Well, those are just some of a few questions we'll be looking at as we find out the difference between falcons and hawks. Let's go. Falcons Falcons are birds of prey that are classified under the genus Falco. Their taxonomic family is Falconidae, which is also home to Caracaras. We have approximately 40 species of falcons distributed across all major continents except Antarctica. That said, according to fossils, Antarctica was home to falcon-like raptors during the Eocene, which lasted between 56 million and 34 million years ago. Such diversity and distribution means these birds have a fairly wide range of appearances, habitats, and dietary habits, among other things. It's important to note that some falco species may be referred to as hobbies or kestrels rather than falcons. A hobby is the common name for smaller falcon species with long, slender wings. Kestrels, meanwhile, are falcons with a specialized hovering maneuver when hunting or scouting. Falcons are extremely successful predators who are defined by speed, agility, intelligence, keen senses, and ruthless efficiency. Countless critters live in constant fear of carnivore birds, and falcons are usually near the top of the list of raptors to avoid for most animals. These killers feed on all kinds of small mammals, reptiles, fish, frogs, crabs, mollusks, and of course, other birds. Though exact hunting strategies may differ depending on context and scenario, it's basically a matter of the falcon swooping down from the heavens and unleashing terror with its fearsome beak and talons. Small prey is often snatched away smoothly, almost like a magician's sleight of hand. Larger prey may be harassed and harried to its doom, or systematically slashed by the beak and talons. Some animals that depend on shells, like turtles, may be carried up and dropped from great heights, a move that usually cracks their armor and drastically reduces the odds of survival. Larger birds that are difficult to grab are clubbed using clenched feet. That's right, falcons can punch prey to knock it out of the sky. These birds are generally small to medium-sized raptors. One interesting thing about falcon size is that sexual dimorphism tends to favor females. In other words, female falcons are often significantly bigger than males. The Eurasian hobby, Falco subidio, the most widespread species, is a good-sized guide for the genus as a whole. They range between 11 and 14 inches from beak to tail, 29 and 33 inches in wingspan, and 6.2 to 10 ounces in weight. One species that raises the size averages is the jir falcon, Falco rusticolis, the largest species in the world. With a maximum body length of 25 inches and a weight of over 4 pounds, the glorious jir falcon is the terror of the Arctic skies. The peregrine falcon, Falco peregrinus, is another pretty big falcon with a wingspan of 29 to 47 inches and a body weight of up to 53 ounces. Of course, the peregrine falcon is also the poster child for another key falcon trait, speed. This bird ranks as the fastest animal on planet Earth. It can easily clock speeds over 200 miles per hour when diving at prey, which mainly includes unsuspecting birds. National Geographic has reported that it has recorded peregrine falcons hitting a Bugatti-esque 242 miles per hour. Naturally, like many birds of prey, falcons have a long storied relationship with humans and human culture. They are a natural pest for farmers who rear small animals like poultry or rabbits, yet can also be a natural ally for farmers who need help getting rid of grain-stealing vermin. The birds also figure prominently in countless traditional cultures around the world. They have been omens, depicted as gods, symbols, and even inspirations for names, familial totems, and institutional logos. Falcon is a pretty good name for school or professional sports teams, too. Falcons have a natural cool factor that has led people to regard them as symbols of freedom, ambition, and success. And of course, there is their role in the aptly named activity of falconry. Falconry is the practice or sport of hunting with tame, trained birds of prey. 
basic premise is that the bird is released to scout the area for prey or wait until its handlers flush prey out of hiding. Once the bird spots the quarry, it attacks and delivers the kill to its masters. Falcons have been used in falconry for millennia, and no one is certain who exactly came up with the idea. Falcons are especially suited to this because of how widespread they are, how easy they are to train, and their natural aptitude and enthusiasm for killing things. In the wild, diet mainly depends on location, preferred hunting strategy, and size. Smaller falcons like the Eurasian hobby prey on small birds like swallows and swifts. Larger species like the jerfalcon falcon prey on larger birds like grouse and mammals like lemmings, hares, ground squirrels, and even arctic foxes. Widespread and adaptable species like the peregrine falcon hunt anything from pigeons, quails, ducks, mice, snakes, and even pet cats. Hawks The eyes of a hawk is one of the most common expressions in the English language, and for good reason. These birds do not miss a thing, making them another group of highly successful killer raptors. Unlike falcons, hawks are not neatly classified under one genus. Instead, they're scattered throughout the broader Accipitridae family. This is tricky because other birds of prey like New World vultures, kites, harriers, and eagles are among the family's 75 genera and 256 species. Another major contributor to the confusion is the fact that most casual folks refer to most Accipitridae birds smaller than eagles as hawks. Even falcons, which are in a separate family, sometimes have hawk as part of some localized common name. The peregrine falcon, for instance, is also known as the duck hawk in certain parts of the world. We also can't forget that another word for falconry is hawking, and that traditionally, any bird used for the activity was referred to as a hawk. So to make things simpler, taxonomists have settled on two major subfamily groupings to distinguish true hawks, or buzzards, from other accipitrids and birds of prey. The group is Budionini, or the hawk buzzards, and includes species like Harris's hawk, Parabudio unisinctus, Rufus crab hawk, common buzzard, Budio budio, zone-tailed hawk, Budio abonotatus, and eastern buzzard, Budio japonicus, among others. The other grouping is the Accipitrini subfamily, or the true hawks, a bunch of species from the Gaber goshawk, Micronissus gaber, long-tailed hawk, Eurotriorchus macruris, lizard buzzard, Cupifalco monogramicus, and the Shikra, Tachyspizabadia, make up this expansive grouping. However, regardless of the specific subfamily or species, hawks are defined by their sharp angular looks, hooked beaks, and relatively larger and robust builds compared to more slender and sleek falcons. They generally have relatively shorter wingspans than falcons too, as their bodies are often more suited to short, explosive flight than soaring and diving. Of course, like most of the best predators in nature, hawks are pretty adaptable and opportunistic. Their famously sharp eyes never miss a trick thanks to their advanced biotechnology. For example, human eyes have 200,000 photoreceptors compared to a beauty on nine hawks 1 million. Hawks also have more nerves attached to those receptors, and their elongated eyeballs have a longer focal length, which allows them to see much further away. Basically, a hawk's eyesight is five to six times better than a human's, which allows them to spot tiny prey from great distances. Hawks also score highly on ornithologist Louis Lefebvre's avian IQ test, which is interesting. Hawk intelligence is believed to be comparable to that of cats and dogs. They show remarkable levels of adaptability, improvisation, and problem-solving skills when food is involved. Given their near-global distribution, it's fair to say that hawks are just as adaptable as falcons when it comes to habitat. However, many Budionine hawks are better suited to wide open areas, allowing them to soar and scout for prey with minimal obstruction. Because of this, Budionine hawks have relatively larger wings and shorter tails than Accipitrine hawks. Accipitrine birds are quite different, however. Most species in this group are far more comfortable in woodland environments where they use their exceptional visual acuity to discern prey amidst its surroundings. Hawks in this subfamily also have short broad wings and long tails to facilitate short, agile flying between the trees. Prey is highly variable and dependent on luck and location, though some species like to specialize in certain prey animals. Hawks generally go after rodents, lizards, snakes, other birds, fish, rabbits, squirrels, crabs, and amphibians. Various killing techniques are used, 
and most involve their needle-sharp talons and beaks. Prey can be impaled, slashed, clubbed, or dropped from the sky, depending on what the situation calls for. However, unlike falcons, which swoop and dive constantly during hunts, hawks prefer gliding overhead before going in for the kill. It's also important to note that hawk beaks lack the falcon's tomial tooth, which is used to sever necks. That said, despite their strong hunting prowess, hawks are not above scavenging the odd bit of carrion. This is especially true during the energy-sapping rearing of chicks, a period that requires both male and female hawks to constantly go out and forage for themselves and their young. That's right, like many bird species, hawks parent cooperatively, with several species even mating for life. Chicks are wholly dependent on their parents for the first few months of their lives, but are ready to start flying at around six weeks old. Like falcons, hawks are commonly tied to various aspects of human culture. The word hawk has been used to name iconic Native American warriors and chiefs in countless military operations and tools, and in sports teams, like Atlanta's Hawks basketball team. The hawk is a globally recognized symbol of aggression and intensity, and that won't change anytime soon. Of course, humans have also hunted with hawks since time immemorial. This falconry, or hawking, has traditional roots in multiple regions, including Asia and the Americas. The birds are highly trainable, and their natural affinity for hunting and intelligence makes them a relative breeze to work with.